Tonight on Nightline, one giant step. The economy may be struggling, but from strappy sandals to sexy stilettos, from cross trainers to crocs, this shoe store is revolutionizing how business gets done. From the global resources of ABC News with Terry Moran, Martin Bashir, and Cynthia McFadden in New York City, this is Nightline. If you're looking for a certain pair of shoes, there's a warehouse in Kentucky that probably has them. They've got a thousand brands in just about every style, size, and color. Four million pairs of shoes. 24 hours a day, they're boxing them up and shipping them out to shoe shoppers sitting in the comfort of home. Good morning and thank you for calling Zappos.com, where Elvis was once spotted in our warehouse looking for a pair of blue suede shoes. This is Zappos.com, and what Amazon did for books, Zappos is doing for shoes. They're trying to revolutionize how business is done and how people work. The name is an adaptation of the Spanish word for shoe. And this year, nine years after going into business, Zappos is on track to sell a billion dollars worth of shoes. You will have these shoes on Monday with our free upgrade. <laughs> and they're having a party doing it. One night, it was a toga party. Work hard, play hard. Are you guys ready to have a good time? Yeah. Tour the Zappos offices, and there's a cheerfulness you won't find in the dour offices of corporate America. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Every department has its own way of greeting visitors. Zappos is headquartered in Las Vegas, where they do have office carols like almost any other corporation. But right there in the middle, we may have missed him. There he is, Tony Shea, the emperor of shoes, with no more office space than Dilbert. One of the things that's really important for us, uh, actually probably the most important focus for Zappos, is to make sure we have the absolute best company culture. And part of our culture is just having a family-like atmosphere. <laughs> And at times, it looks like one of those internet startups that disappeared when the bubble burst. Go! Here's the entire finance department racing Pinewood Derby cars in the office. But unlike those failed startups, last year Zappos made a 5% profit. Not bad. And in multiples, how many times more than a call center worker do you make? Uh, I don't have a calculator, but I, my salary is $36,000 a year. So I think some of them make more than me. Some of the people in the call center make more? Yeah. Of course, he can afford it. Just a few years out of college, Shea sold an internet company to Microsoft for $265 million. But you wouldn't know it. How many pairs of shoes do you have? I probably have about 10 pairs right now. But prior to Zappos, I used to have one pair that I would wear for two years until it had holes in it and then buy the same pair again. So you're not that into shoes? I'm not that into shoes. <laughs> What he's into is building a company where people love to work and customers like doing business. We just want to be about the very best customer service and the very best customer experience. Selling shoes over the internet would seem difficult. People want to try them on, see the size and color. Zappos overcame that with free shipping, both ways. Order as many shoes as you like, you have a year. 365 days to return what you don't want. Okay, and then once we get it back in, it can take 48 hours to process back in, but we'll refund you for the $41. And if they treat the customers well, they do pretty well by the employees, too. Free food is always available in the cafeteria. So even the snacks are free. We go E5. There we go. I'm um, enjoy. But that's nothing. The company also pays 100% of medical and dental benefits. Why in this world is it such a revolutionary idea to treat your employees and your customers well? Yeah, I, I think just because you don't really see the payoff right away. You see the payoff, you know, a year, two years, sometimes three years down the line. It's a great day here at Zappos. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? At the heart of the Zappos revolution is the call center, where actual human beings answer the phone. Hi, Patty. How are you doing? A lot of companies have learned that they, they can be rude to their customers, they can give them bad service, they can even not answer the telephone, and people still have to do business with them. Right. And right today, that's because they don't really have a choice. How can I help you today? 
95% of Zappos' business comes over the Internet, but they spend a lot of time and money training people to talk to customers on the phone. There's a four-week training course that every single employee, from the executives on down, are required to take, even if their jobs don't usually require talking with customers. Well, I'll be happy to help you out with that. Do you know your order number? Oh, yes. You don't know your order number. Okay, no problem. Do you have a phone number that would be on your account? Sari Levine already works in the design department, but she was a member of the latest call center class. And just before they were hired, she and the rest were offered cash to walk away. We are actually increasing the offer to $2,000, but you, today is the last day where you can <laughs> choose it. We offer them money to trainees to quit because we really want to make sure that people that are working at Zappos are truly passionate about the company and this is the place that they want to be. Very few take it. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. For the graduates, there's a ceremony. Pomp and circumstance, diplomas, the Zappos pledge. I'm on a Zappos mission to live and deliver wow. I'm on a Zappos mission to live and deliver wow. Armed with core values, I'm going to start now. Armed with core values, I'm going to start now. <laughs> they actually do have a list of 10 core values to work by. Create fun and a little weirdness. It's just a fun way of saying that we really respect and celebrate everyone's individuality. Pursue growth and learning. Do a lot of people tend to get kind of stuck? I think it's just really important for people to feel um, engaged. They, they always need to feel like they're learning and growing. I, I noticed immediately coming in um, at the graduation ceremony and people are smiling and laughing and clapping and making jokes. But you're very reserved. Uh, yeah, and that's part of what I mean when I say I'm not the one that is saying, okay, here's what the culture should be. Well, why isn't your phone center in India? Uh, because we don't think you're going to be able to give great customer service by outsourcing it. And for us, uh, customers, if customer service is what our brand is going to be about, then you can't outsource that. If a customer is looking for a specific pair of shoes and we're out of stock of their size, say, everyone here is trained to look on at least three competitor websites. And if they find the shoe in stock on the competitor, direct the customer to the competitor. And that, What do you get out of that? Somebody else sells we, the shoes? Yeah, we lose that sale. What they get, they think, is customer loyalty. 75% of their business is people who come back. And part of their training is exposing employees to every part of the business. Remember Sari Levine? After finishing her training at the call center, she's now shipping shoes in Kentucky. So it tells you that you're looking for a Rockport, and your last number is going to be 3184. Part of the training program, we call it KY Boot Camp. We go to our Kentucky um, Fulfillment Center, and you do. You understand every single aspect of how the warehouse works. Now Zappos is branching into things like clothing and electronics. They're not stuck on shoes. And so we'll listen to our customers and try out different suggestions. They've even suggested cookware. So we're selling cookware. So you, just, you have customers who like you so much, they just want to do business with you almost no matter what it is they're buying. Yeah, we have received emails from customers that have asked us to start an airline. And you know, we're not going to do that this year, uh, but 30 years from now, I wouldn't rule out a Zappos Airlines. In that case, you'd probably have to pay for shipping. This is Brian Rooney for Nightline in Las Vegas.